Leadership is a word that we often hear, but what leadership is and what does leadership mean? In this video, we are going to look into what leadership is as well as why leadership matters in our lives. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So what leadership is? This question had never prompted out in my mind until I stepped into the working society. And I remember during all the companies, trainings, seminars that I used to attend a lot and they will always mention about leadership, leadership and leadership is very important. And that is why it sparked my curiosity about leadership. So I thought I really know what leadership is, but the truth is, I didn't. That's why I dug further into what leadership is and why is it leadership matters important in our lives. First up, let's us do some Google search on what is leadership. Leadership is the action of leading a group of people or an organization. And the word leader is derived from the Latin word dux. Dux. To my understanding, leadership is the ability to get others to act or to follow you. And leadership doesn't just occur once in a while, it actually occurs on a daily basis, whether it is managing our families, leading an organization, or being a team leader at work or at our own business. When we look at the word leadership we usually think of people with authority in an organization but leadership is more than just being in charge there is a difference between management and leadership in another word being a manager or boss doesn't mean that you are a leader leadership goes beyond the role of managing employees or managing your subordinates to get them to do what you want them to do, what you need to be done in your organization or in your business. And to put it simply, a manager can easily be an authoritarian figure, but leadership is about inspiring others and getting them to follow you. Well, the meaning of leadership varies from person to person, but for some, it means leading others and being responsible for those in their care. And for others, it means serving others and making sure that they are getting what they need to succeed and be happy in life. Leadership comes with great responsibility. With great power comes with great responsibility. But of course, when you are a leader, but it comes with a lot, a lot of intangible values and it's very, very important in our lives, which I'll be talking about it in the second part of this video. So after gathering information from different sources, from different people, from different materials, books or movies, I categorize leadership into these three definitions. Number one, the essence of leadership is followership. In other words, it is the willingness of other people to follow you as a leader. And it doesn't define by the numbers. We always have the wrong idea of leadership. We always think that, oh, I need to have a large group of people say like, I need to be at least like 50 people following me, then I'm considered a leader. That's not true. Even if you just have one follower who is willing to follow you, you are a leader. And why people follow a leader? These leaders, they can provide a way for their people's desires wants and needs. Leadership and motivation goes hand in hand. By understanding what motivates someone, we can better understand why they act the way they do and how leaders may respond to or influence them based on the organization or the team culture. Number two, leadership is not a position, but it is an attitude. A leader can be anyone and they don't necessarily need to be in a high position. A leader can give you the motivation to go forward, provide for your needs, and inspire you to grow. To begin with, here is an example from my own childhood about how leadership works. In primary school, I had a teacher who was very, very strict when she taught us English every day during class time, which made me dread going to her class each day because 
I knew if I messed up my homework, uh, she would punish me by staying the extra hours after school to do extra English homework. However, there was another teacher who had less strict rules in her class. And I always look forward to going into that particular class because I knew she would never make me stay after school and do extra work if I messed up. And I remember I would always finish her homework and assignments because I want to, because I'm willing to. Oh yes, that would be bad as me. <laughs> Even though both teachers were teaching the same subject material, which is English, each leadership style made a different impact on how students felt about their classes. And this example clearly shows leadership matters when it comes to motivating people. So even though this leadership example is from my childhood, but it is important because leadership skills can be applied in any age group or in any situation. And this leadership story memories that I have it actually allows me to remember how having leadership qualities you know is really really important and it allows me as a child or even now the ability and opportunity to lead by making decisions that will benefit others around myself number three leadership is about serving others and empowering them to make a difference in their organization in their team and the world around them i believe that leadership is not an exclusive trait meaning to say only certain people have can have leadership but rather is a shared one that everybody can learn and develop if they are committed to do so by now i hope leadership is not just another management buzzword for you we all have the leadership skills within so why not use them to better ourselves to be a leader is about accepting responsibility and having faith in our abilities it is about acting on opportunities that are presented to help others succeed so in other words leadership can make or break our lives as well as those around us who follow our examples whether we are leading at work or at home leadership matters and makes an impact in everything we do every day in our lives. So why leadership matters and important in our lives? Here are the seven reasons. Number one, leadership is an essential part of a person's life because it defines who we are, what we believe in, and how we live our lives. And it provides us with direction on how to live our lives so we can be the best person we can be and also live a happy life. Number two, leadership is about being ourselves. In today's world, where we are constantly bombarded with messages from social media telling us that we are not enough, leadership provides a way of finding confidence through acceptance of our strength and our weaknesses. Number three, leadership teaches us to become a better person than we are. For example, it teaches us how to become more confident because we will learn how to handle difficult situations and make the right decisions at the right time when we apply and practice leadership in our lives. Number four, leadership allows us to accomplish a lot of different tasks and it teaches us how to be accountable for our own mistakes and also mistakes of others and also how to accept responsibility for our own successes. Number five, leadership gives us the ability to bring out the best in other people, making them feel good about themselves and also their work. It can be shown through encouragement, motivation, inspiration, or by making someone feel like they are capable of achieving something. Number six, as children become adults, they need to learn how to be leaders so they can succeed in life. The earlier the kids learn about leadership, practice about leadership, the more prepared they will be for what life throws at them. It is really important for parents, teachers, and adults to teach leadership to the kids. By teaching, I don't mean by just telling the kids what to do, but it's by showing them, guiding them, and leading them by example, right? So we as an adult, parents, or teachers, we have to practice leadership in order for the kids to follow our example. And number seven, 
Leadership allows us to have the opportunity of making a difference in the future. It is important for us to lead others and make changes that will impact our community, society, and the world. So these are some of the why leadership are so important in our lives. Remember, leadership is important regardless of whether or not someone has authority over others. Being a leader takes courage and humility as well as kindness for those in our leadership world. So that's all from me today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. What is leadership to you and why is it important to you? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas. And if you like my video, please give me some thumbs up and show me your love by subscribing to my channel and you will get free videos every week. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and as always, good luck and enjoy your life journey. Bye for now. Ciao.